So let's estimate size of things using what we call field of view in a microscope. So the field of view, or FOV, is what you see in the circle. So when you peer into a microscope, you see a circular location where the specimens are at. As the field of view decreases, magnification increases. So the field of view under low power is, interestingly, if I was to look exactly across the field of view and put a ruler there, I would find that four millimeters fits exactly. So I can actually see a ruler underneath low power, and under low power, I can put the ruler down, and I will see exactly four millimeters, and that's with an objective lens of four times. Now, if I was to put the ruler under medium power, medium power is 10 times, I would only see one millimeter and something else. So the question is, what is the field of view on medium power? Well, we can use the objective lens ratios to mathematically determine the field of view under medium power, working like this. Four millimeters is known at low power four times. If I multiply that by the ratio of objective lenses of low power to medium power, I can get the field of view on medium power, which is 1.6 millimeters. So that's what we'd be seeing under medium power. Notice the magnification is increasing, but the field of view is decreasing compared to low power. We can use that same method on high power. I want to find out what the field of view is on high power, but a ruler obviously is not possible. So I'm going to do the same thing I did before. I'm going to compare back to 4 millimeters, because I could use a ruler for that, and multiply by the ratio of objective lenses. So this time is 4 over 40. And that gets us 0.4 millimeters across the field of view on high power. This is very small, so we don't like to use millimeters because it's too small to report it. So we're going to change it to nanometers. There's 1,000 nanometers, sorry, not nanometers, micrometers, I should say, in one millimeter. So that means I'm going to be reporting field of view as 4,000 micrometers low power. 1,600 micrometers on mid medium power, and 400 micrometers on high power. So this is how we find the field of view. Now how are we going to estimate the size of something if we know the field of view? So to find size, we take the field of view and we divide by the fit number. So the field of view, remember, is the diameter. This little thing is just a, a pokey thing um, on the microscope that allows us to kind of show people what we're looking at. So ignore the pokey thing and look at the diameter. If this was high power, remember the high power is 400 micrometers. That's our field of view on high power. So if I want to know what is the size of one of these red blood cells, the size would be equal to 400 micrometers, which is the diameter across high power, and then I'm going to divide by how many of these red cells fit across. So I'm literally going to estimate, because this is definitely an estimated size, how many fit across the total. So I'd be counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, etc. And let's say we count uh, 20. Okay, there's more than that, but let's just pretend there was 20 that fit across. Then we would say, the size of a red blood cell is 20 micrometers if I decided that 20 fit across. Let's say we were looking at yeast cells. They're really tiny, and I had to do the same thing. Well, if I want to find how big it is, remember the size is equal to the field of view, FOV, divided by what we call the fit number. Well, you have to know for the field of view what magnification we're on. This was high power. So high power field of view, again, is 400 micrometers. And I'm going to divide by the total number that fit across. Again, you're counting all the way across the entire diameter. So let's pretend here, I'm pretty sure it's about 100 of them that fit. So that means my estimate here would be about 4 micrometers per yeast cell. If you're Googling it, it's actually pretty accurate. So we're going to uh, finish up with estimating size here. And my next, the next video will be uh, practicing this plus other skills for 
how to communicate what you're seeing under a microscope.